F-16s may appear suddenly in Ukraine, experts said how Russia will know about their arrival. F-16s are fighters that can appear unnoticed. Russian occupiers will know about their appearance in the Ukrainian sky only by the missiles that come towards them, says military expert, reserve colonel of the armed forces of Ukraine, instructor pilot Roman Svitan. Theoretically, it is possible for F-16s to appear before, which no one really knew about, especially if these flights were carried out in close mode. This is possible without problems by and large, and F-16s can already appear in our country without notifying the Russians about this. The Russians may find out that the F-16s have entered and have begun to carry out combat missions only against those missiles that will approach them when the JASSMs are completed, then it will be clear that the F-16s have entered, he explained. Svitan emphasized that the F-16 is a machine that could appear unnoticed. The speed is supersonic, the flight time is several tens of minutes. Entered. Completed a combat mission. Left. Entered. Quietly. Left. This is the whole point of aviation, continued the instructor pilot. In addition, Svitan explained why Russia continues to attack Stara Konstantinov in the Khmelnytsky region, where as is known a military airfield is located. For the Russians, this is the main base, at least their main place of application of forces, so to speak. Missiles, understanding the F-16s can be deployed at this base, understanding that Su-24s and airfield technical equipment are located there, fuel tankers, that is, a whole range of preparatory measures. And the Russians are trying to get the airfield somehow. The expert stated, General Sahi Goluptsov, the commander of the Ukrainian Air Force, has said all along he needed four operational squadrons of Lockheed Martin F-16 fighters to have any chance of controlling the air over a single sector of the 700-mile front line of Russia's wider war on Ukraine. It's taken more than a year of intensive diplomacy between Ukrainian, Norwegian, Dutch, Danish and Belgian officials, but Goluptsov is finally getting his four squadrons. F-16s could target the Russian glide bombers from as far as 100 miles, pushing the bombers away from vulnerable cities and positions and, for the first time in a year, blunting Russia's aerial edge. Ukraine can destroy Russian Tu-95 and Tu-22, a Ukrainian colonel called a miracle weapon. The Ukrainian Armed Forces colonel noted that it is critically necessary for Ukraine to have permission from Western countries to launch strikes with their weapons on Russian territory. The likelihood of making a positive decision for Ukraine was commented on by colonel of the Armed Forces of Ukraine and military expert Petra Chernik in an interview with Glavred. Chernik recalls that a similar situation with Western countries' hesitation in providing Ukraine with certain types of weapons has been going on for a long time, in June 2022. When I was in the combat zone in the Donetsk region, US President Joseph Biden stated that he would not provide Ukraine with F-16 fighters because this would mean crossing red lines and further escalation. But time has passed and Biden decided to take this step and we will have F-16s. There is a hope that by early to mid-summer, the fighters will be operating in Ukraine. If this happens, it will be a tremendous success for us, Chernik said. He adds that the situation is similar with long-range missiles. Of course, we are interested in ATACMS with a range of 300 kilometers, but the Ukrainian Armed Forces colonel notes that it is worth paying attention to the missiles that are used on F-16, in particular the incredible AGM-158 JASSM. There are configurations that allow you to strike enemy targets at a distance of up to 900 kilometers, the expert noted. According to him, a strike by five ATA CMS missiles on Russian targets in the Donetsk region, in particular in occupied Mospino, led to the destruction of at least three S-300, stroke 400 launchers, a radar and a combat control vehicle. This incident indicates serious problems for the enemy with anti-aircraft missile cover and the AGM-158 JASSM missile with a range of up to 900 kilometers can easily fly to the airfield in Engels where the strategic attack missile carriers are based. T-95MS, TU-160 and TU-22M3. The ability to strike with such missiles can radically change everything, he notes. However, he notes that another example of Western reaction should be kept in mind. Almost a month and a half ago, the information space was filled with militaristic rhetoric from Macron about the possibility of sending French troops into Ukraine, but this did not happen and the topic disappeared from the information agenda. It's difficult to say exactly what decisions will be made in the West. 
but we critically need the Western world to allow the use of its long-range weapons on the territory of the Russian Federation, he concluded.